Hi there, it's Lindsay Smith from Keller Williams Energy. Thanks for tuning in to another segment of my Friday morning coffee. This is my opportunity every week to kind of just give a bit of an idea of what's going on with real estate from Whitby, Oshawa, into Clarington. Now, it's, it's interesting. I, I read an article recently and I just uploaded to my website called What Buyers Want. And it's not the, it wasn't an article about um, do they want two bedrooms? Do they want double car garage? It wasn't that. It was if there's 10 houses that they go out and they look at with an agent and one really shines, what causes them to like that house? Why? What's different about that one home? And there's a few points here that I come across with. So what buyers want is, um, number one, they want a good deal. Bottom line is, they, we have more access to information these days than we've ever had. Buyers know what the prices are. They want a good deal it's got to be priced right. So if, if someone said this to me recently, if it's a woman going to a wedding and she's out looking for a dress and she's a size four, there's no way she would look in a size 12 rack. So if something is priced, say in the 250 range and it's listed in the 300 or 325 range, it won't even get noticed by the buyers. So buyers want a good deal and they're sharp enough to know what isn't a good deal. Number two, kitchens and bathrooms sell home sell homes. There's some easy ways of making your kitchen and bathroom look good. For bathroom, you can go out and buy mats and you can buy hand towels and you can buy towels that look really fashionable. Um, for kitchens, you can declutter the countertop, make it look as sparkling as possible. Just do it once over. These things will really help to sell. Um, the third point is paint's a crowd pleaser. There is nothing more uh, dramatically changing of a house than painting the walls. I would love to be able to, to, to take a fire through a home that was uh, painted and one that was identical that wasn't painted and see how long they would spend in these houses. I bet you the one that was painted and was warmer feeling, I bet you they'd spend two to three more times in that house. Uh, the next point is let there be light. Um, I would go through and I would replace all of your light bulbs with the highest wattage light bulbs you can stick in those sockets. They're not going to be in there forever, so it's not going to be a, a, a fire issue, but just make sure that when the buyer walks into a room, the rooms look as large as they can, and that means brightness. That means pulling the carpets, the, the, um, the uh, curtains back, making sure all the lights are on so that when they walk in to that dining room, the dining room looks big. The brighter it is, the bigger it's going to look. Um, energy efficiency. Now, people. I know we all talk about it, but people really aren't that much into energy efficiency as far as knowing what you have. They're more interested in knowing what does it cost to run what you have. Make sure that the bills are out there, that your hydro bills, your gas bills, your water bills, so they know exactly that just takes one of those questions away. So that rather than that the agent have to go back and say, well, let me find out that information for you. If it's all there, they can make the decision on the spot. Um, it's cleanup time. Um, just make sure your house is clean. I mean, I would hire a cleaning lady to go through to clean up the things that you, because a lot of people, we all live with, with our homes the way they are, and if we get a cleaning lady in or a cleaning guy in, then they'll do stuff we normally don't do, and it's just going to help to sell your house, that's for sure. And that includes making it smell good and look good. And um, size matters. Size matters ties into decluttering. When you look in the garage, if you've got a door in your garage, you look in your garage, Make sure you can see the floor, the walls. Make sure that anything that's in there is neatly organized. Uh, same with a walk-in closet. When you open the closet door, you want to be able to see the, the, um, the, the skirts and the dresses and the pants and the men's dress shirts all organized in an organized fashion so they can see that. If there's shoes on the floor and they're organized, if it's a mess, and sometimes they open a closet door and the stuff is everywhere, you can't really see. A lot of times buyers will look in there and they'll just walk away, they won't even look. And I guess the last point is, we truly are in a price war and a beauty contest. Um, it's been partly the, the, the reason that we are where we are is because of these, these home decor shows, the staging shows that are on TV, when buyers walk in, they want, to, they want to be wowed. I mean, years ago, you could go out, as a kid, I remember going to a bakery, you could have, my mom would say, you want a cupcake, chocolate, vanilla. That was your only two options. You walk into a bakery now, they've got croissants, they've got galettes, they've got French pastries, they've got eclairs, they've got anything you want. So really, it has to shine and be special for someone to, to grab their interest. 
this is uh, what buyers want sitting in my blog section of my website, soulbylens.com. Feel free to go on there and take a look. There's also a red book on staging your property that's on there as well. I hope this helps. Have a great day.